video is my last helpful video on how to get the DLC from Train Sim World 2 and 3 compatible content into Train Sim World 4 was a bit of a bust and it wasn't as helpful as it could have been because you couldn't see one of the child's screens. But anyway, let's get into it again. So all you have to do is click on Train Sim World 4 in your library and that will open up the main screen. And then if you come down here to the DLC part of the screen, you'll see manage however many DLC you've got. I happen to have 88. And I'll just bring my window on top. There's the manage DLC window. You can see I've got a few ticked already, but let's say I want to tick uh, main Spessart barn and Bakerloo. And you can see that they're already starting to download up here. So if we jump onto the download screen, you'll see that they're starting to come in. Now, a lot of people will be downloading this today, so you may find Steam restricts your bandwidth a little. Mine's going pretty well. It's almost at top speed for my internet, which is great. Um, if they do, you can change Steam regions temporarily or permanently or whatever you want to do and just let it download from somewhere else. Every country has several different regions that you can pick up content from. The, once they're downloaded, they will turn up in Train Sim World 4, in the To The Trains menu, and the other places just like normal. Alrighty folks, enjoy yourself. If this has been helpful, then uh, chuck us a comment. If you've got any questions, same deal. And if you want more helpful stuff in getting going with Train Sim World 4, simple quick videos like this one, then chuck us a subscribe and have a look in the playlist. There's plenty there already. Alright folks, have fun. See you later.